I'd forgotten there were still places like this. Towns where everybody knew everybody. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for... Mr. Wake. Alan, wake up. <gasps> I am your biggest fan. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. Rose. Rose, I'm looking for Mr. Stuckey. Carl Stuckey? Carl? Oh, of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. I can't believe it. I've got all of your books. I got the cutout from the bookstore when they took it out of the window. Do me a favor, Sonny! I could really use a tune right now. Coconut, number six in the jukebox. I'd do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad circulation. Yeah. Are you serious? Coconut again? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Call yourself a rocker. It does that, get stuck. Yeah, you need to give it a good solid whack. You put the lime in the coconut, drink them both up. Just because we're brothers, don't think I won't murder you in your sleep. Ah, uh, right. So much for quiet vacation. Yes, that's my favorite tune. Coconut! Shut your mouth, you demented has-been. If I had my hammer, I'd shut it for you. Jeez. Two number six in the jukebox. Children of the Elder God. Now there's a song for you. Now that's what I'm talking about, yes! This is it. I've died and gone to hell. Don't go in there, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. I think I can handle it, ma'am. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find Stucky, to get the key and get out as soon as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. Overeager fans always did. Hello? Mr. Stuckey? Carl couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. And to meet your wife. I insist. Thanks. Cauldron Lake is a special place, very inspiring. You got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. This really ought to be fixed, and then I must ask Sarah to change the lights of the space. Oh, Even that sounds better than you're saying. Are you all right? <laughs> the Andersons, they're, uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. Mission accomplished. The key and the directions. My hero. I got some flashlights, just in case. Hey, wait! Mrs. Wake! You're... 
Your keys! That diner was a real nut house. <laughs> Can you believe this place? This would make a wonderful setting for a book. We're supposed to be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home, okay? Okay. We can talk about this later. Bad man here on PBF FM. I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Here's another one of my favorites to go with it. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer, but that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years, not since my last book. And now the weather. It's gonna be a clear night, so you folks in the big city might want to look up every once in a while, see those stars winking down at you. It gets pretty dark out here, but they'll light your way. Wow. It's gorgeous, Alan. It's something, all right. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I know. I'm okay. Alice had a phobia. The fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. Here we go. Let's take a look inside. A shoebox filled with books by Thomas Zane sat on the shelf. I'd never heard of him before. Hello? Anyone here? Guests have already started to arrive.
For a moment, the oppressive feel of the nightmare I had seen on the ferry returned. I needed to get the power running in the cabin. There had to be a fuse box or a generator somewhere on the island. The cabin looked like a time capsule from the 60s or even earlier. There's probably a fuse box or a generator in the shed. An old generator had been connected to the power cable. Okay, I'll look around a bit. The island sure had thing. once been the site Come for a on. love story. Maybe it would be that again. It was a beautiful place. I told myself I could rest here, sleep here, and forget about my work. I thought we could be happy here. Alice? Honey? Alan, I'm upstairs. I have a surprise for you. Well, hello there. I'm not the surprise. It's in the study. Go take a look. <laughs> okay. Surprise! Alice? What is this? I guess I have a small confession to make. I thought maybe you could write here that a change of scenery would get you past- Damn it, Alice! You- Everyone Hey, keeps... hey, hey! Just hear me out! There's a local doctor, Dr. Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. He specializes in helping artists. Maybe... So now you want to get me committed? No! It's not like that! That's not- Alan? Alan? I don't, just don't. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. God damn it. I knew she wouldn't follow me in the dark. I needed some time alone to think things through. Oh. had gone dark. All the lights were out. Alan! Alan! Where are you? Help! <clears throat> Alan! 
Alice, I'm coming! It's all right, I'm coming! No! What the Alan! hell? Oh, no! <gasps> Keep going, Alice. <gasps> Wake up. Alice? Waking up in the crashed car felt like I had woken from one nightmare and entered another. I couldn't remember how I got there. All I knew was that something terrible had happened to Alice. The phone was dead. I'd have to find help on foot.